Well, here we are, underneath this beautiful group of trees in the absolutely delightful village of Hitcham. And uh, this is the parish church, as you can see, of All Saints. And there's the church. It includes a number of cars, as I believe somebody is preparing for a wedding. But we'll have a look at this rather vast and rolling churchyard where the birds are singing. We've got, oh, listen to that. We've got a lot of headstones here. The sun is trying to come out. It's a, a hazily bright day today. So we haven't got all the beautiful shadows and light flickering through the leaves, but it's very warm, very pleasant. Look at this headstone here, look. Oh dear, this one's seen better days, eh? This is in loving remembrance of Sarah Elizabeth, the beloved wife of James Fisher, who fell asleep October 1929, aged 71 years. Aeroplanes flying over this beautiful church with extremely busy, very involved tower. Look at that. It's got uh, two buttresses on each corner and it's got the beautiful extension where the staircase is going up the tower. The window there at the top. Flagpole, no, no flag flying, but it's rather nice. And you can see here that we've got a section of more recent headstones here. But the churchyard itself climbs up to the little mound where the church is on, and all the older headstones are look as if they're behind. We'll look around the other side here. So we just gently climb up this little mound here. Oh, it's quite steep and we're met with all these more older headstones and just take a look behind us. We can see the boundary of the churchyard. It's got a very well kept hedge and behind that is a dark and lovely looking wood or copse. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful houses over there. On this part of the churchyard in front of the tower we've got a sort of scene that I just absolutely love. All the tall summer grass and flowers and beautiful headstones all full of patina leaning different ways and sort of growing out of the grass pigeons cooing birds cheeping we've got some headstones there look that are being overgrown absolutely lovely niches and niches above and, and a big window a belfry at the top lovely flint work looks as if there's been work done at the bottom there all the grass going right up to the door Standing here now, underneath the tower, 
see we've got a little path that goes off to that area and then a grass sort of well-worn area that goes around the side and the church is lovely it's rather worn at the bottom weather I should say really but a checkerboard effect with the flint at the bottom and then a band of dark napped flint above that it's quite, it's quite a lovely effect actually and with the checkerboard and little patterns in flint going up the buttresses and as I say the niches have long lost their statues but there is thoughtfully some water there for plants and flowers at one time would have been the main entrance to the church and as we stroll around to the side of the church here oh dear we find a wheelie bin ah, and a wooden shed and there's an extension there to the church which gives extra space an extra aisle I guess lovely under here we're under the shade of this big tree and just go over there and have a look at the church from that side there's a wooden fence here as a boundary to the churchyard this side and if we just turn we can just see the church tree obscuring the tower but so lovely here the center area here is left untouched it's almost like pasture field really need some sheep or something but lots of old headstones here sort of mixed in with newer ones this is in a loving memory of John Edward Goodson died in 1922 this is a lovely headstone look at this it's very unusual it's a bit difficult to read that is that is nice it's very unusual up in the corner here we've got yet another gate goes off into some fields or something it's like a public footpath but you turn here and you see oh lovely view isn't that beautiful and the sun's trying to come out and if it did we'd have such lovely shadows and light this is lovely here we're under the shelter of all this big canopy these trees and you see the church look it's got those are lovely four lovely round windows look at the top and that section's got rendering at the top and the extension is flint there's another extension there see how these churches probably developed over the years but the tower I suspect is Victorian here we've got an impressive array of some very important graves I would, I would think These ones look as if they've been here for a long time and 
been surrounded by overgrowth and it's been cut back now. Very picturesque, very picturesque indeed. Just here behind the area where the altar is. We've got headstones with beautiful looking flowers left in memory. And there's a bench here, we'll just sit down for a second. So sitting here we get a lovely view of that church and there seems to be a massive window behind the altar. We'll have a look what it looks like. A plain glass window. We can just hear an aeroplane flying over. So we get a lovely view of the church here which as they say scrubs up well because it certainly looks an impressive church with so many different extensions and they all look in this from this view in, in perfect condition they look absolutely fabulous it's a very impressive looking church and it's got shrubbery growing in front of it on the edges there which is unusual really very large memorial here. So just have a look out. This is very impressive. Here lie the mortal remains of 11 men of the Royal Air Force killed at Wattisham in November 1940. It's very sad. Wattisham is an air base that's not too far from here. Lovely spot here, I can hear lots of birds singing, but also a lot of airplanes and cars because we're fairly near to a very busy road, but the church is on this high spot, so I think we'll have a look inside. So we come back to the porch, the entrance porch, take a little look at this, this is fabulous, look at it, look at all that work with the flint and stone in bands and three niches nothing in them though cross at the top rampards beautiful arch little areas for shields no protection though at the side all the weather's got to it but we've got vegetation flowers growing everywhere fabulous fabulous porch what an impressive place lovely to I think there's a, a wedding going on in here on Saturday, so they're getting it ready. We'll have to go in and be quiet, but imagine coming out here and having your pictures taken on a day like this. Must be lovely. And stones here at the bottom. Brick floor that's seen lots of wear. Two very large windows. One each side. Look, they're very large. It's quite a big porch this, very tall, wooden ceiling, and a very impressive entrance. That's really quite impressive. Got this metal frame here, goes round. I wonder if they'll put some flowers around that for the wedding. And we've got all these crowns around the edges and shields. And look at the carving on this door. Beautiful doors, and it's beautiful. Right, let's have a look. So, the first thing is we've got a lot of activity here. They're getting flowers ready for a wedding on Saturday. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, gosh, that's so nice. Just set in that lovely lit spot. 
spot in the corner with two windows all plain glass. You see where the top is pulled up by that chain. And look at this. Beautiful, it's all painted. And over here above the cups of tea or tea making equipment, we've got the list of the rectors of the church starting at 1281. So we can see the activity going on here getting ready f for this wedding and now we've got this beautiful great big blue carpet running down from one side of the church to the other and down the center aisle and there are actually three aisles to this church oh look at those windows up there aren't they just beautiful those ones we saw from the outside they're fabulous shape and they're set deep in those alcoves Get a lovely view of that ceiling there. Now the organ is set right underneath the arch where we go into the bottom of the tower. And this organ is painted, painted a sort of pale green with gold organ pipes, big cross on the top. Look, isn't that lovely? It's perfectly symmetrical into that arch. Now you can see how deep it goes into the arch. It's very big and painted unusually. Here I am standing my back to the tower and two ladies up there busy cutting flowers, getting ready. We can see the altar up there. The area is very plain with a beautiful plain window and an unusual ceiling that's sort of bolted, it changes shape. And above us here this ceiling is very solid, very big, chunky. Just turn to the left and... Ah, that is above the door. There's a door behind that curtain. And over here behind this screen we've got a delightful little area for children. And behind it are two big plaques. By the main door we've got a book of or hymn books in the cabinet and pictures here on the wall. Various groups I suppose to do with the church. There's a group of soldiers outside the front there where the tower is. No it's the porch. Sorry, it is the porch. is an aerial view of the church. In this area and this extension we've got three large plain leaded windows. And we'll just walk down because we've got this fabulous painting here or tapestry to our right. Let's have a look. Oh it's beautiful. That. That's a painting, that's beautiful. Walking 
to this little chapel area. We met with even more flowers. Oh, love these flowers, aren't they beautiful? And a nice little display here. We go and walk up to the altar. Just look at this beautiful screen, what's left of it though. And all the paintings that were on it, look at that. There isn't any it's absolutely beautiful. Right. While we're here, we just have a look at this. Looks like a war memorial. And we just step up to the raised part of the church where the altar is. And this is all painted here. All solid cream. We've got graves on the floor which look as if they had brasses in them at one time and they're long gone there would have been brasses in this one and the one over there there's a memorial on the wall there looks like there's been some damp coming in it's affected the ceiling and the wall. There's a door on that side. Let me step up. This is where there'll be a wedding on Saturday. So we've got all these beautiful flowers. And it's all plain glass windows here. It's so light in this area. That one's light. Frosted glass. And then if we just turn and have a brief look at this church, we can see the activity with the flower arrangements. So I think we'll have to call this visit a short one just walk back down this aisle see all these lovely flower arrangements here ready for the wedding well that was a very quick and uh, prompt visit. Just unfortunate that on the day we came they were preparing for a wedding, but it looks like it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful place to have a wedding. Well, that was All Saints Hitcham. I, as I say, I'm sure there's going to be a fabulous wedding there this coming Saturday, but unfortunately, we just came here at the wrong time for filming, so it's not a comprehensive view of the church that we would normally have liked to have done. But a lovely church in a lovely setting, though. A beautiful village.